please. Please. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would say please be seated, but I think when you hear this news you will want to remain standing. It gives me great pleasure to announce today not only an executive order but a new initiative from the Project Economic Justice. First the order. Today I am instructing the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife to return, to the citizens, the lands known as Harris Snack in Georgia. Along with this order I am instructing the President of the Atlanta Federal Reserve Bank to make available interest-free money to the Harris Snack Land Bank so that no taxpayer money is involved. And likewise, I am further encouraging all other private sector banks under the Atlanta Federal Reserve to make available interest-free credit for other future citizen land bank projects in the Atlanta region and using Harris Snack as a model. Thank you and second as a guarantor of the capital required to bring to fruition the developments of what we think will be the new models like Harris Snack for this country's growth. I am calling on this nation's private or citizen-owned insurance companies to develop the capital credit insurance and reinsurance that will be needed for these future projects, so as not to fail at taxpayer expense. Again with, no, taxpayer money involved. Finally, under this executive order, all future citizen-owned projects should be treated as tax-favored plans, therefore expanded capital ownership of citizen-based projects with the means of production should have a tax-favored status, just like the employee stock ownership plans in the Homesteading Act of 1862. That is why I am also urging both parties of Congress to unify and support on the 150th anniversary of Lincoln's Homestead Act the passage and adoption of the Capital Homesteading Act by 2012. Expanded capital ownership with the means of production has been a prerequisite since George Mason's Virginia Declarations of Rights in 1776. And besides Lincoln and others like Ronald Reagan, would have wanted it this way, where every citizen is an owner. We would like to take a moment to thank the works of the Project Economic Justice and Dave Kelly, Reverend Robert Thorpe and all the supporters of Harris Neck. Because of them, my administration is now looking beyond capitalism and something beyond socialism but where every citizen is an owner. Not only will we advance the Harris Neck Citizen Land Bank but also other projects and efforts of citizen land banks all across America. Let me also assure you that we intend to move forward beyond what Ronald Reagan envisioned. A shining city on a hill. But a truly, just third way, to get there. All of this would not have been possible without the steadfast search for economic justice of one man, Dr. Norman Curland, who authored, as we bring in this just third way, what is known as capital homesteading for every citizen. Norm Carlin has agreed to sit as my cabinet advisor for capital homesteading in the just third way, and with your help we can make this a global initiative, so that every citizen can be an owner, and secure peace through justice. Finally, finally thank you for your time. And for more information go to capitalhomestead.org or cesj.org. And urge all who are listening to thank Dr. Norm Curland and join Capital Homesteading by 2012. May God bless America. Thank you.